Today we're going back in time, all the way to 2004, and we're gonna play The Sims 2. Now, disclaimer to all of you who I'm about to embarrass myself in front of, I did not play The Sims 2 back in the day. My first Sims game was The Sims 3. I have played The Sims 2 now, like a little bit, but not a lot. I am by no means a Sims 2 expert, so this video may be painful for you if you are, and I'm sorry for that. Don't subject yourself to that, if it will be. But for those of you who haven't played The Sims 2, this was the um, second Sims game <laughs> came out when I was like four and I played it on stream last week and I had a lot of fun This game is like really hard compared to the more recent Sims games Like the Sims 4 is so easy to take care of your Sims and make money in the Sims 2 is genuinely difficult Like your Sims are miserable all the time money is hard to come by It's not an easy game to play and build mode in comparison to now is a tragedy so I was thinking that today we could try to build a house in The Sims 2, if it doesn't crash on me. Oh, we're back? Okay. <laughs> okay. So there are a few different neighborhoods in this game. I'm thinking we pop into Belladonna Cove and we try and build ourselves a little house. Little house, okay? Lower your expectations. Another thing, I have all of the packs. A few years ago on Origin, they offered every pack, The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection for free. This is like back in 2016 or something. So I got it then. It's no longer available for download or purchase at all. Like you. You can't buy this game on Origin anymore. You can find physical copies still, but you can't like buy The Sims 2. As far as I'm aware, it's because of a weird like licensing issue. EA no longer has the license to something, so they like can't sell it anymore, which is dumb, but I don't know. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> but as far as I know, that's the situation. Oh my god, look how pretty this area is. Should we like kill one of their houses to build on them? Like in front of the water? Should we go look at one of the big ones? I want to see what they can do just so we can compare ourselves, you know? Because believe it or not, in this case, EA is superior. <laughs> In this situation, for the first time ever, we are the worst ones. Is that a helicopter landing pad? You're joking. I didn't know they had that. <laughs> Get to the chopper helipad? What? Okay, team, we need to play The Sims 2 again. Also, another thing I've noticed is that a lot of the houses are like really empty for some reason. I suppose it was 2004, so that might be part of it. But on the inside of this house, we have beautiful spiral staircases. The Sims 4 cannot relate. We have landlines. The Sims 4 cannot relate. Is that a gate? What's the purpose of that? <laughs> okay, we have a really fancy bathroom, four poster bed, closet. The Sims 4 can barely relate to that. This closet is much better than the ones we have now. Empty bedrooms, Strangerville can can relate to that. Also a bookcase door. A really nice bookcase door, believe it or not. That's a good one. Okay, so couple issues. Building cheats will be the death of us. So things that you may have grown accustomed to, like alt placing, placing on half tiles, uh, placing things diagonally, all such things are not possible in this game without cheats. And because I'm not that familiar with like The Sims 2 and how things work, I don't know what we can do without like making the build become no longer functional. Like, I don't know what the line is with move objects because The Sims 4 Sims are pretty smart. They're not that smart, but they're, they're smarter. But I'm not sure like how smart we're talking. You know, like if I have something like slightly scooted to the right, is it now in the way of the couch? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but as far as cheats go, move objects, a classic. Bull prop snap objects to grid, <laughs> so we can place objects off the grid. Bull prop allow 45 degree angle of rotation, true. They've got like water cheats, constrained floor elevation cheats. These we're not gonna touch. This stuff we're not getting involved in. There's a lot of possibilities with like constrained floor elevation, but we're not, we're not touching that right now. <laughs> we're trying to build a starter home, okay? Let's be reasonable. Okay, anyway, I don't wanna build here. <laughs> it makes me feel sad living next to these rich people because we're not gonna have homes of this caliber I don't think so let me just return to the neighborhood please get me out of there I'm embarrassed yeah honestly I'm thinking if we build like across from the water wouldn't that be nice let me replace these people's house I don't know oh okay pop off that's nice Oh, okay. That's a nice place. We got a spiral staircase. We got a games room, a big patio, dining room. Wow. Upstairs we have two bedroom. Oh, this hallway is a waste of space. <laughs> that hallway is an enormous waste of space, but okay. I don't know how to bulldoze the top down view, 45 degree view design tool. Day, night, toggle. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Oh, it doesn't make any fun noises when I delete things. Can you not like click and drag to delete? Ah, I have to delete things individually? This can't be right. No, you're joking. It's fine, I bulldozed it from that view. Oh, is the lot like dead and gone? Oh, oh dear. Okay, I appear to have destroyed the lot completely. Okay, I'm placing a new one. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's fine. Okay, let's go build here. You have a lot more power to like control the neighborhood in this game like that. You can't do that in The Sims 4. All right, so. This game has cars. We have a lot of options. Like, it might be old, but it does have some things over The Sims 4. Rounded pools. Oh. Okay, we do have garage doors. Okay, I just wanted to make sure we actually had garage doors before I got all excited about this and, like, started making a house with a garage that we couldn't even use. But we do have garage doors. Lovely. <laughs> okay, this game, like, properly has driveway items as well, which is interesting. I always wondered, like, if The Sims 4 were to add garages. Hello? Oh, dear. I press G and it <laughs> does that. Anyway, I I always wondered like if the sims ever added cars must be placed between a driveway and its extension yeah oh an extension piece oh okay sorry i got it i get it now anyway if the sims ever added cars to the sims 4 i bet it would work something like this because then you know they'd actually be able to make the lots functional to the road and stuff okay so we can't like place windows and doors on half tiles so we should probably pick like the window that we want <laughs> oh i can't have a white window why maybe i'll use that for now i like the idea of that well, we're not gonna put the house on a foundation. <laughs> I'll tell you that much right now. That's not gonna happen. Okay, bear with me because I'm gonna change that probably, but I, I'm just trying to figure out what I want it to look like. We also don't play this game. I'm just trying to find what I'm looking for. <gasps> oh, that'll be good. The other thing in this game that's kind of weird is if you were to change the colors after you play something, it costs extra money. So in The Sims 4, we don't have that. Like if you want to change the swatch after you bought it, that's fine. But in this game, if you want to change the swatch after you buy something, you have to pay. We don't have a Sim living here, so it's not charging us, but oh, that's pretty. Oh, the doors come with decorations. Cute. Oh, I like that. Why doesn't it come in a white swatch? Oh, my cat is here. Snap, I'm sorry. I can't hang out. I'm trying to build in The Sims 2. <laughs> I'm sorry, Snap. I'm having a really hard time. I can't hang out with you right now. I'm sorry. Don't complain like that. She's staring at me like, why aren't you giving me attention? I'm busy. <laughs> it's not my fault. Does the flooring even come in white? Oh, she's clawing on her cat tree. If you hear that, don't worry about it. <laughs> I should have put it on like a foundation or something, but I didn't. Oh my God. I'm so much slower trying trying to do this in The Sims 2 than I am in The Sims 4. It's like embarrassing. Okay, so what if this room at the back, we'll do it from top down, it's easier. This room behind the garage could turn into like a really nice laundry and bathroom. I don't even know if The Sims 2 has laundry, but you know, laundry and bathroom. It could even be big, I don't mind. We can have like a giant room. That's fine with me. God, <laughs> I'm gonna try and put a roof on the house now. This is really difficult for me, I'm not gonna lie. No, no, better. Okay, interesting how it like automatically adds the, the thingy at the end, the, the trim. No, that's not what I wanted it to look like. <laughs> oh, interesting. Can I not make it lower than that? What the heck? Huh, well, this is what I wanted it to look like originally. <laughs> Auto roofs. <gasps> <Eek. Yeah. laughs> Oh, that's better. That's kind of what I was going for originally. Okay, if we put it to like, this is a weird tool, 40 degrees. We lower them all. Why is this happening? We have to like do it in multiple different pieces for it to work without it like auto switching to the other direction. <sighs> okay, now that just doesn't make any sense. I've managed to make it work there. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, I was hoping we could put a window above that, but you can't obviously, cause you can't change the height of the- Oh, oh good God. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. The roof is so complicated. <laughs> Please, someone help me. We are so spoiled by The Sims 4. Like, we really don't know how good we have it until you try and like roof in the older games. Like, what am I even doing right now? <laughs> Look at this tool. Look at that. It's. Mm! <sighs> Oh, they've got a dormer tool? Oh. Oh, that's very intriguing. It doesn't- I'm- I'm giving up. I don't care that it's clipping and not clipping. I don't care that it doesn't fit. There I said it. I don't care. No, I care. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Fine. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. That is not good. Maybe that could work. They have some really nice tiles. Oh, I like those. Can you not move the mailbox? Is the mailbox just there? Oh. So I should have built the whole house based on where the mailbox is, and I didn't. You know, if you're like an avid Sims 2 player and you're laughing at me right now, I don't- I don't appreciate that. <laughs> How was I supposed to know I was gonna do that? How could I have expected that? Okay, now we paint. I want paneling. Now, you don't mean to tell me that we can't change the color of that. Do you know what? I like the bright yellow. I do. I like the yellow. I think that's nice. One thing that I absolutely love about older Sims games is the fact that you can pick where the trim goes. Do you see how I'm like individually placing this? Like, I'm telling the game, I want trim there. I want it there. I want it there. I want it there. And then it just puts it there instead of it like auto placing and putting it in the wrong spots. It's such a better method. It immediately looks like a million times better this way. Look at that. I feel like a lost puppy right now. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I feel like I have 
no idea what I'm trying to do. What? I want a bigger window than this. Maybe we can use that one. It's not much bigger, but wouldn't that be kind of fun? Does it look weird? What if we, s oh, we swap them. That makes more sense. <laughs> Does the game know that that's inside? Like, are we all on the same page here? Okay. <gasps> oh no. Help. <laughs> ah! Save. 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 Okay. That could have been bad, but it was fine. Okay, that's not so bad. Oh, all right. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I don't know what my intentions are. What is that? This is going to be a one bedroom house. Or maybe it could be two bedrooms. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. This is a big bedroom over here. And then another one over here. Okay, bathroom, kitchen. Maybe a different tile though. <laughs> well, no, maybe I like that one. Ugh, what is that? <laughs> oh, the lighting options are very weird. Oh. This one's got balloons on it. Okay, the other weird thing is that I'm pretty sure like those chairs will scoot into the table in live mode, but we don't have a sim living here. So I don't know how to get them to, but they'll like auto scoot. I've seen it with my own eyes. I'm just so slow with this. I think it's because I'm not used to building in this game. So I don't know where anything is. Like in other Sims games, like the Sims 4, obviously I know like every item in that game and I know it very well. So when I build in the Sims 4, it's like no problem because I've done it a million times. I know where everything I want is. It's like not hard to find. When we build in the Sims 2, it's like I have no idea what items we even have access to. Like I have no clue where to even begin. <gasps> That is a duck. Oh, the bathroom appliances are much more expensive in this one. Look at that. There's not very many showers and they're all like a million dollars. The cheapest or the second cheapest one is 625. I don't know how to find a mirror. Oh, I found it, sorry. <laughs> False alarm. I got one. Oh, hello. There we go. All right, functional bathroom. I wonder what sort of rug options we have. Ooh. <laughs> I still haven't turned on any of the build cheats. I don't know if you noticed, but oh dear. Maybe I need them now. <laughs> I still, I'm trying to not use the build cheats too much. Oh, that's a small one. Because I feel like this is already hard enough for me as it is. <laughs> like, do I really need to add cheats and make it more difficult? Let's just play it the way that the game was designed to be played, you know? But I want, ah, this is a disaster. <laughs> I want to have the TV on this wall and a couch here. Oh, but I can't, ah, you get so used to placing things on half tiles. Forget it. Bool prop objects to grid false. Oh, I spelled objects wrong. Bool prop snap objects to grid false. What? Oh, testing cheats. Okay, cool. <laughs> what? <sighs> Move objects on. Surely that will work. There's no way it doesn't work like that. <laughs> I'm scared. Things are starting to go terribly, terribly wrong. Okay, I think I want to snap things to the grid again because I'm getting stressed. Turn off move objects too, I can't do it. Oh, we need a phone. Oh, perfect. Also like a burglar alarm because I'm not trying to get got. Where are the bookshelves? Can someone please answer me that? Because I don't know. I don't know where anything is in this menu. It took me so long to find everything. I know. Oh. It's embarrassing. It's like genuinely embarrassing. I'm not trying to suck at this game. Oh, I found them. Is that supposed to be a book logo? I can't tell. We really, like when you start playing The Sims 4, you really start to take for granted like all of the things that we have and can do. And you forget that like you couldn't do that back in the olden days. It was a different time. Like specifically referring to the search menu and stuff. Like we couldn't even search for things in The Sims 3. We Sims 4 Four players are very spoiled. <laughs> I'm just looking around at the kind of artwork we have. We have a lot of posters, it looks like. Dreamcatcher. Ooh, space. <laughs> Should we put the space on the wall? Was it like a team photo? Yeah, put that on the wall. No. How about that? Oh, that's kind of cute. How about that? There's a lot of artwork in this game. <laughs> it's so weird comparing to like the old ones. This looks like the farm painting in The Sims 4 that I always use. A duck? <gasps> Somebody tell Duck Dan. How much does it cost? 139? Oh, that's the other question. 120. 149. Oh, everything is so reasonably priced. Like this whole gallery wall, 300? Oh, that's so interesting. Like the bathroom stuff was much more expensive than The Sims 4, but these things were a lot cheaper. Huh. Oh, look how cute the wallpapers are. This is our new dining room wallpaper, I've decided. At this point, I no longer care. I'm <laughs> just putting whatever. It's fine. Here's my bedroom. Wow. Do you know what's interesting is this game came out kind of before like stainless steel was like the main in style for appliances. I mean, they definitely existed, but I'm thinking like when my parents bought their house, the appliances are all black. They still are. There's a lot of white appliances. There's not really steel ones. Like that's really interesting. That one's steel. That one is too. Ew. <laughs> Why don't they match the stove? Whose idea was this? I'm gonna use it. That's not so bad. This isn't, oh, oh. They have more, you know what? 
In The Sims 4, we're severely lacking bathroom sinks. In The Sims 2, we're severely lacking kitchen sinks. Look at all the bathroom sinks we've got. And they have like only a couple of kitchen sinks. Interesting. Truly was a different time. <gasps> Cats. Oh my god, forget the phone. We can put that somewhere else. We can get a cat tree. Oh, where's the litter box go? Also, I found out that you have to have pet beds. Apparently my Twitch chat said this to me. I don't know if it's true. And the pet beds like get dirty and you have to clean them. This is a very foreign concept for us Sims 4 players. <laughs> the litter box can go in the dining room. That's fine. Look, it doesn't have to be nice. <laughs> It just has to be functional. I like that bed. I like those nightstands. <laughs> I like that desk. Oh my god, 2004. <laughs> wow. Some of these things really date it, you know? There's something kind of charming about this though. Like when I was playing The Sims 2 last week on stream, I can link that down below by the way. I posted the re-upload on my second channel. But like this game has landlines, they deliver you a newspaper every day, which they had in The Sims 3 as well, but they phased out in The Sims 4 and now it's only online. Like it's, you have computers and cell phones and stuff, which to be fair, like the, the world is sort of moving in that direction at the moment. But like a lot of people still get the newspaper. A lot of people still have landlines. It's definitely not as common. I mean, at the time, like with the older Sims games, everybody had a landline because you didn't have a cell phone. Everybody had newspapers delivered like way more often. Everybody had cable. <laughs> and now everybody's kind of cutting the cord these days and we don't have those things as much anymore. Like I don't pay for cable. I don't have a landline. I literally had to explain to my Twitch chat what a landline meant. I'm referring to not an iPhone, <laughs> but like your home phone, your house phone. It's like attached to the wall. Maybe you've got it sitting on your kitchen counter or something. It looks like this. You got to dial on the keypad. <laughs> <laughs> but like there are some kids in my Twitch stream that didn't even know what that was. I'm not that old. Neither are you. They're just like 13 <laughs> and they've, they've forgotten what it was like. It wasn't that long ago, but I kind of wish that we still had the option in The Sims 4, especially if you're trying to play with like older Sims. Like I kind of want my grandma to get the newspaper. Like maybe I don't want every Sim to get the newspaper, but it'd be nice if like somebody could. Like my grandparents don't have cell phones. Well, they have a cell phone they share when they go out in case something bad happens, but like you, they won't answer if you call on it. Like they answer the home phone and the home phone and that's it. <laughs> this is so ugly. I'm sorry. <laughs> I kind of just want to see what toys they have left. <gasps> Whoa, slides, playgrounds, sauna. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at this playground equipment. Why don't we have more of this in The Sims 4? Oh, no way. I don't know like what packs these things came from. We can get some bowling in our backyard. Maybe a helicopter next. I don't know. <laughs> the good old days. Look at the card table too. Interesting. Don't wake the llama. I feel nostalgic for this game and I didn't even play it. <laughs> My first was The Sims 3. For the record, I even have a really hard time playing The Sims 3 these days. And I had like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours in that game, but I just haven't played The Sims 3 in so long that like when I try and go back and play it now, I forget where things are. It's hard to find the items I'm looking for. It's difficult. You know, we've been playing The Sims 4 for so long now that like even The Sims 4 is old at this point. Like it came out in 2014. <gasps> A little bunny? Oh, I wish we had like small teddy bears in The Sims 4. That's another thing that I wish we had more of. And like small doll houses. <laughs> For some reason, that's a tough ask. Like the just normal size toys. Also the changing table. I would love to have more stuff like this. Okay, and most importantly, oh, oh, how much does that cost? Well, the most expensive car is $12,000. Of course we have a helicopter as well. <laughs> I say of course, like it shouldn't be surprising. Naturally, we have a helicopter for 20,000. We have some more affordable cars too, don't worry. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, put that one on the street so people can see it and put the cheap car inside the house so no one can see that we have this. That is so backwards. You'd like put the fancy car in the garage so it doesn't get dirty. But no, we keep it on the street so the neighbors can tell that I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> with my bowling alley and my fancy car. You know, this was fun. No, I cli I didn't mean to go, ah. Uh. <laughs> I was trying to look at the landscaping. I just wanted to save my game first. Oh, cute. Anyway, look, I know it's not the best house. I realize I could have done a better job, but it was just fun to go look around and like see what options we had, you know? Sometimes it's fun just to mess around in a game. And that was what we did today. We messed around in the game. <laughs> oh, these are pretty. Put them by the front door. Ew. This is embarrassing. People can do so much better than this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go watch a real YouTuber. <laughs> okay, but final thoughts. I had a lot of fun doing this. At the end of the day, it really is just kind of fun to explore and like see what we used to have. And while this game is a lot older than The Sims 4, obviously it came out 10 years before The Sims 4 did, they did have a lot of cool stuff. Like the helicopter's amazing. The gameplay of this game, we just 
built, but like the actual gameplay is so cool. Like The Sims 2 is an objectively really, really good game. Sure, it's a little bit frustrating trying to like do the roof of houses and like it's kind of finicky sometimes. You know, you have to like break it to make it run because it doesn't work on newer graphics cards. <laughs> I mean, these are all serious concerns. But when you compare like The Sims 2 and The Sims 4 were like 10 years apart, right? The Sims 4 has been out for seven years. They've made like leaps and bounds in between The Sims 2 and The Sims 4. Like The Sims 4 runs so much better. Like it's still holding up. It really makes you think like what's The Sims 5 gonna be like because technology has developed so much since then. I'm just, I'm really curious about it. Anyway, that's a long ways away. I bet we still have like five years until The Sims 5. I'm not kidding. Like I, <laughs> my hopes are not high about a, a soon release for The Sims 5, but I don't know. We'll see. Did you play The Sims 2? Was this video extremely painful for you to watch? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> and if you like watching older Sims content, I do have a couple Sims 3 Let's Plays on my channel, so I can link those for you. I, like I said, I'm a Sims 3 child. That was my era. <laughs> I am obsessed with The Sims 3. I still play it a bunch and I have some really fun Let's Plays on it. So if you want to watch those, I can link them for you. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye everybody. God, I really am sorry that I don't know how to play this game. It's embarrassing. I don't like being bad at games. It truly is embarrassing.